Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carbro. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord that pop up for your server. Today, we are talking about uh, handling reactions and stuff. Um, this is uh, quite a big part of the API, one that is used quite extensively. Uh, today, this video is kind of going to be split into two. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the events that you would use to, to kind of capture reaction. Um, happenings and react to them in the same way you react to a message for example and in the next video we will be talking about uh, reaction roles and stuff uh, so I've already made I've oh, dear, 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 dear. I've already made a new cog called reactions.py uh, I, I didn't want to write one out again and I didn't feel the need to um, show me copy paste it on camera so here it is we don't actually don't need the command line here because we're not going to be doing any commands in this um, yeah, very simple cog to start us off with. Uh, so we're actually going to be using a load of events this time. Uh, so if we do another cog.listener as well, it's going to be a lot of listeners. Um, and there are four that you can use. Uh, so there is on reaction add, and I'll go through the list of them before I explain what any of them do or what the differences are. So that'll be, I think it's reaction, I think that takes reaction user uh, pass. Just copy paste that, and then we got on reaction remove, which takes the same thing. Uh, on raw reaction add, which instead takes, well, it takes self, and then it takes a payload. And then on raw reaction remove, <coughs> which also, like for raw reaction add, takes a payload. Uh, so these are the four events that you can use to uh, get reaction stuff, I suppose. Um, and you may be wondering what is the difference between, say, on reaction add and on reaction on raw reaction add. Well, when a message is reacted to, these two will both fire. However, on reaction add will only uh, fire if the message is in the message cache. Um, so the message has to be sent since the bot. Uh, most recently started up for this one to work. Um, uh, so for something like uh, I don't know, like a confirmation, for example, if a user touches the command and you want to say, "Are you sure you want to do this?" An on reactionary add would probably be what you would do. Um, however, for raw reactions and stuff, you'd actually use on raw reaction add because the message does not have to be in the message cache. Meaning you can uh, you can keep a persistent uh, message ID and it will just kind of work. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate how we, how you would use all of these. We're not actually going to get the bot to do anything. We're just going to get it to print to the terminal to show that it's actually working. Um, so we're going to start with the on reaction add. Uh, the reaction is the reaction object and the user is the user object. Now it's a user object, not a member object. So keep that in mind. Um, and we can simply do on reaction add say print um, uh, user dot name or user dot display name I suppose um, reacted with uh, and then you can do this reaction dot emoji uh, and then you can do dot name. Uh, so the emoji is the emoji of the reaction. Say, for example, if I were to go in here and I was to react to this message with I know, a mouse. I don't know why a mouse is so high up my list, but it is. Um, so this would probably return, yeah, it would return mouse. So if we quickly go and uh, quickly go and watch the bot. There we go. Uh, just wait for it to load up. There we go. Uh, now online. So if I, if I do another reaction here, um, so say if I react with it seems good, uh, you'll see there will not be a print. Uh, actually make it the Discord smaller so you can see what's happening in the background. Uh, there won't actually be a print, but if I react uh, to this with a cap, for example, you now see Cobra reacted with cap. So you have uh, my name and then reacted with and then the name of the emoji which is just cap. Um, but it didn't work on this one because this one was sent uh, before the bot most recently started up um, and is therefore not in the message cache. So if I wanted to uh, uh, remove these reactions 
it wouldn't do anything. If I remove this reaction, it also wouldn't do anything because I realized I haven't actually programmed that bit yet. Um, we can do more or less the same thing. So we could do uh, removed their reaction of uh, reaction of emoji, the name. That'll work. So we can actually uh, now use these other now on lines. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll continue to use this one. So if you on react well, on reaction add it won't work on reaction remove it won't work. If we use uh, uh, this bottom one, if we give it the hard thunk, then we remove that thunk. It will then say uh, Carver remove their reaction of thunk. Um, there are uh, more things that you could do with the reaction, but generally speaking, you probably just want to check uh, the reaction dot name. Um, uh, maybe check the user to make sure they're the right person as well. Uh, we'll go over more with that when we come to the role reactions in the next video. This is just kind of explain how a reaction system works. Um, but yeah, uh, generally speaking, on reaction add and on reaction remove uh, are fairly intuitive and are quite easy to use. On raw reaction add and on raw reaction remove are done differently because they work differently behind the scenes. So everything is sent to this payload here. Um, and this payload is rather inconsistent with what it has. So, um, if we want to do the same sort of message we did on here, we could do print. Um, and thankfully in version 1.3, so this is a really new feature as a recording of this, we can do payload.member, which is actually a member object, not a user object this time. Um, uh, before version 1.3.0, this didn't exist and you had to get the member manually, um, and that sucked. This tutorial is using 1.3.3, so you can see how how recent an addition that was and how amazing it is. Uh, but if we do display name, um, reacted, and we'll have a raw. Actually, we'll, we'll have a raw at the start to make it um, more easily uh, distinguishable reacted with and then we could do uh, payload dot reaction dot emoji dot name um, that should work I'm pretty sure payload has a reaction <laughs> I could be wrong but um, if you are I'll quickly just check it over uh, so now it doesn't matter what message we react to because it will say oh there is a oh it, do it doesn't okay but it might just be payload dot emoji come to think of it yeah, I think it's just payload.emoji actually. Um, so if I just get rid of that real quick. Uh, smirk. Uh, there we go. So raw cover reacted with. Uh, oh, it gave us the Unicode character. Nice. Um, because we use the Discord standard one, if we use the what, for example, we'll just have what there. Um, but as you can see, this message is not part of the message cache, but it still works. If we were to do it on this one, uh, say the code lol. We'll get the raw. Oh, the raw one actually activates first. That's interesting. Um, I would have thought that would have been the other way around. Uh, as you can see, the raw one activates with colol, and then the non-raw one activates as well because the message is in the message cache. For, uh, so both fire. So essentially, if you're looking for a confirmation, what the maybe raw reaction add is the way to go if it's actually slightly faster. Um, it's just a bit more of a pain to use. But then with payload.member, that is a lot better nowadays. Um, so yeah, you have on raw reaction add, and then you can do, of course, the same with on raw reaction remove. Um, removed their reaction of. Uh, there we go. And if we quickly just go into that, and we can get rid of all these. Oh, payload member. None type has no attribute display name. Huh, that's interesting. Why did that happen? Okay, give me a second to work out why that's happened. Right, okay, so this is a weird issue that I didn't actually know was a thing. I don't really use on, on uh, Reaction Remove that much, so I had no idea this was a thing. But on Raw Reaction Add uh, does have the member attribute. On raw reaction remove does not. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional or I don't know what's going on there 
to be honest. I would have thought that member would have not been none because you can, as you can see, this is the honorary reaction add. And you can see member has this member object here, but member equals none here, which is really weird. So we're actually going to have to do that the old way, um, which is very interesting. So we're going to have to set. We'll set a member here. And I'll just have a member. Uh, I believe it still has emoji, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it still has emoji at least, which works. Uh, so you can have member equals uh, self dot bot dot guild uh, dot get member uh, payload dot user id. Uh, this is actually the way we had to do it before, and apparently we still have to do it like that. So that's really annoying. Um, <laughs> but this should work now. Um, if we go and remove this, because it's the only one I have left, because I, I did quite a lot of testing on this to make sure it worked. There we go. Uh, can't remove the reaction of code lol. Um, hopefully that will be fixed in future versions. If you're running 1.4, that might be fixed. Uh, worth checking the uh, the change log on that. Uh, but that is the old way of doing it, and it's the way you have to do it for on raw reaction removal apparently, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't know why that is. But either way, it does work. It isn't it is an extra line of code, but it does work. So that is how you uh, detect reaction adds and removes or additions and removals um, on messages. And the different ways of doing it, regardless of whether or not the message is in the message cache or not. Um, so with that, that brings us to the end of the video, as of course we're doing uh, raw reactions next time. Uh, if you like the video, then say hello down below. If you have any questions, then feel free to uh, leave them down below as well, or ask in the Discord server using the link in the description. Uh, if you really like the video, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And if you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but it would be a really cool thing to do. With that in mind, I would like to say thank you to my super patrons, Adam Dreyer and Jaxter, for being so awesome as to go for the highest tier. And I will see you next time where we talk about the aforementioned uh, raw reaction stuff. So I'll see you then.